do it. Happy Friday, May 22nd. And boys and girls, this is our last day of school and the last day of the year, the whole school year. So your summer begins today. So I thought it would be fun for us to um, do one final lesson together, one final video, and this is going to be an art lesson on how to make a butterfly, a symmetrical butterfly. So each of you in your bags that you picked up at school on Tuesday got two pieces of construction paper. So you're going to go ahead and pick one, and then I'm going to slowly demonstrate how you are going to make your butterfly. And keep in mind, you can stop this video at any time or rewind or start again if you need to, okay? So your uh, piece of paper should be going this way, which is horizontal, and you're going to fold it in half, just like this, okay? Now this part is the real critical part. Okay, because you're going to be drawing your butterfly on only half the paper. So just this half. And you're going to be drawing the butterfly off of the fold. So this is the fold. So if you open it up like this, whoops, you see this part is where it's folded. This part is where it's open. Okay. So this part that's open over on this side, if I can kind of bend it forward, do not draw over here. You have to draw over here, okay? So I am going to be using a pattern that looks like this. Now you don't have a pattern at home, okay? I understand that, but I'm gonna put this up like this so your parents can see it, okay? So you can get a really good idea of how it's going to look. Now, again, I'm going to emphasize this straight part of the butterfly is up against the fold. Okay, just like that. You're not even going to have to draw a line. And then what you're going to do is you're going, I am going to follow this pattern. So I'm going to make a little loop that comes up. And then I'll make another bigger one that comes around, kind of like I'm making a cloud. All right. And then I stop here. And then you're going to come around like this, up, and then around and in. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Again, I'm holding this so your parent and your parents can freeze this and then help you draw it. I am going to go ahead now and draw mine, okay, so that you can see what it looks like with the black marker, okay? So I'm going to do this kind of quick. All right. So if you were in the classroom, then you would have this pattern and you would be tracing around it. Okay. Oops. I accidentally drew on my pattern, boys and girls. Okay. There we go. So now it looks like this. Okay. So it actually reversed sides. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Again, I'm going to emphasize the fold is right here. The fold is the straight side. If for any reason you did it on the wrong side, turn it over and do it again. Okay. But you're going to keep it folded now. Okay. And then I'm going to cut. So you're going to see me cut and it's very important. Do not cut any part of this fold. There's no lines there. You're just following on the black um, marks. So I'm going to cut around this way, oops, okay, and I'm cutting it out, all right, okay, you can cut with me, you can follow this video all the way through once and then go back and do it again. If you make a mistake, that is why I gave you two pieces of construction paper, okay? So pick your favorite one first. So this is now what it looks like. And if I hold the pattern, see it looks just like my pattern, okay? Um, so again, your butterfly can be a little unique. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine, all right? Then when you're all done doing the half, cutting it out, watch what happens when I open it up. 
Ta-da! I have... Ta-da! I have my butterfly. Isn't that beautiful, boys and girls? So I know that your butterfly is just as beautiful as mine. And now you can color it. But here's the thing about a butterfly. A butterfly is symmetrical, okay? It's very important that you see this line right here, okay? That means it's right down the middle of the butterfly, okay? And so this side and this side have to look the same. If we were in the classroom, we would put paint, a little spot of paint here and a little spot of paint here. We would fold it, we would press it down, and then we would open it up and both sides would be identical. So if you do have paint at home, you could do that. Okay, you can ask your parents to just put a little dot of paint up here and maybe another one down here, different colors. Fold, put it down on the table, press, and then if you open it up, both sides will be identical. Okay, but since we don't have paint with us, I don't. So instead, you're just going to draw designs. So whatever you do on one side, make sure you do on the other. Very important. So for instance, I'm going to just draw a circle up at the top. It's going to look like eyes, okay, like this on this side. So now I have to do the exact same thing over here because I want them to look symmetrical. It won't be perfect, but it will be close enough, okay? So see how I have these two in the same spot. If I do other designs, whatever they might be, I have to make sure I do the same thing on both sides. All right? So you may color your butterfly any way you want with any colors. You can put lines, designs, dots, circles, anything. You can do different patterns. The videos that I sent you show lots of different beautiful gorgeous butterflies. So you're welcome to copy any of those butterfly butterfly colors on your butterfly. And then when you're all done, where is this going to go? It's going to go in your scrapbook. The one that I sent home that has each month all the way through the school year. The last one has your leprechaun in it, March. And you're going to put your um, April bunny writings. Make sure that the writing is in front of the bubble map. And your parents staple it and staple it in on one side. And then you put your bunny on the other. And then you'll turn your book over, turn your page. And you'll go to the one that says May at the top. It's yellow and it says May in your scrapbook. And then you can attach your bubble writing with the, the May writing on top of the butterfly, staple it, and then you're going to glue this on the side where the art is. Okay, and that concludes our lesson for today. So I hope you enjoy learning how to make a symmetrical butterfly, have fun coloring it, and have fun finishing up both of your books that I sent home in your bags. Take care, my friends. Have a great summer, and I can't wait to see each and every one of you next year and get a great big hug from you. I wish you all the best. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful summer, safe, healthy summer, and I can't wait to see you next year. Take care. I love you, and bye-bye.